Insta360 One RS, the basics. Okay, let's take a look at the Insta360 One RS Twin Edition. First, open the box and take out the camera and accessories. Here's what you'll find inside. First, align the holes on the side of the lens to the points on the core and press the two together until they firmly connect. Align the already assembled core and lens with the connecting points of the battery base. Then, press the two parts together until they firmly connect. To remove the battery base, push the battery buckle to the right, then pull the battery base off. You can also install with the 4K Boost lens and touchscreen facing the same way. Perfect for selfies and vlogging. The 360 lens is assembled in the same way. Push the lock buckle to the right to open the lock cover. Insert the micro SD card with the label facing the front side of the core. Be sure to close the lock cover correctly to ensure waterproofing is not affected. Before shooting, one RS needs to be activated via the Insta360 app. Press the power button to power the camera on. Choose the language. Turn on the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth on your mobile device. Download the Insta360 app. Open the app. Tap the camera icon at the bottom of the page and select Connect Now. Select the device you want to connect to and follow the on-screen instructions. The first time you connect to the app, you'll need to confirm the connection on the camera's touchscreen. If there is a new firmware version, the app will pop up with a reminder. Please complete the camera firmware update as prompted. During the update process, the camera display will be off and the indicator light a steady blue. Please do not power off or exit the app during this time. Wait around one minute for the camera to complete the update. Then restart the camera and connect again to the app. Get to know your One RS. When the camera is turned off, press the power button to power it on. Hit the shutter button once to take a photo or start a recording, and then again to stop. While using the 360 lens, you can double tap the touch screen to view a panorama preview. In standby mode, press the power button to turn on or turn off the touch screen. In standby mode, long press the power button for two seconds to power off the camera. Swipe left or right from the center of the touch screen to select the shooting mode. Tap the screen just to the left of the Q icon to select from preset capture modes. Tap the screen just to the left of the magnifying plus icon to bring up the zoom. Tap the parameters at the bottom of the screen to adjust. In photo mode, you can adjust the resolution and timer settings. In video mode, you can set the resolution, frame rate, and flow state stabilization. Swipe left to set other shooting parameters such as white balance and ISO. Swipe up to access the gallery. Swipe down to open the shortcut menu. Brightness. Tap to adjust the screen brightness. Lock touchscreen. Tap to lock the touchscreen. Swipe up to unlock the touchscreen. When using one RS in water, remember to lock the touchscreen to avoid accidental presses. 
Stabilization Level. Tap the stabilization icon to adjust the in-camera flow state stabilization level. The higher the level, the better the stabilization effect. The screen preview delay will also increase, but the captured footage will not be affected. LED on off. Tap to turn the LED on or off. By default, the LED is switched on. Grid. Tap to turn the grid on or off to help line up your shots. Screen rotation. Tap to turn on screen rotation and the camera will automatically rotate the screen as you move the camera. Voice control. Tap to turn on voice control. You can control the camera using voice commands such as take a photo or start recording. Quick capture. Tap to turn on quick capture. When one RS is off, you can then press the shutter button to power on and start recording. Settings. Tap settings to adjust anything from language to audio mode and gyro calibration. In terms of hardware, One RS now has three microphones, one on the front, top, and side of the core, providing improved stereo sound. The audio mode of the camera is set to wind reduction by default. To switch audio mode, go to settings, then select audio mode. You can also use an external microphone to enhance the audio quality. The battery capacity has increased to 1,445 mAh, so there's enough power to fuel all your shooting needs. The mounting bracket helps reinforce the connections between the camera modules, giving added protection and ensuring the camera is waterproof. Install the mounting bracket. To open, simultaneously press the two red buttons at the bottom of the mounting bracket. Slide one RS into the mounting bracket, making sure the buttons are correctly aligned. Then just close the side of the frame and press until it clicks in place. There's also a built-in windproof mic cover to improve the audio quality and a heat dissipating cover to keep one RS shooting for longer. Use the one quarter inch camera mount adapter and one quarter inch thumb screw with the mounting bracket to attach one RS to traditional action camera accessories, such as selfie sticks. When shooting with a 360 lens, you can achieve the invisible selfie stick effect. To do this correctly, make sure you keep the two lenses parallel with the stick, otherwise the stick will be visible in your video. Accessories such as the invisible selfie stick are sold separately on the Insta360 store. Use the charge cable to charge the camera via the USB-C port. The indicator will turn red while charging and turn off when the camera is fully charged.